of loved ones or friends all there to support them should the road have bends he'd be more than husband and she'd be more than a wife together they were soulmates side by side for life I mark take you Lara to be my wife. I love you. As your husband. As your husband. Your lover. Your lover. And your friend. And your friend. I love you. As your wife. As your wife. Your lover. Your lover. And your friend. And your friend. Sign of my love. <laughs> 
give you my love. Mark and Laura for organising it and the setting is just the weather could have been better but you know but no it's absolutely amazing
just like to say, Lara, when I came today to the hotel, wow, you just blew me head away. I was happy Mark, the day and I was my own. you have now got She's full membership of our family. <laughs> You're at the silver at the moment. You get the gold when you start going to watch the city. <laughs> Waking early next morning In a sleeping bag alone This is my speech now. I know it's not really tradition for the bride to make a speech. I don't want to go home I don't want to go home I am very privileged to be friends with the best people. So my first toast that I'd like to do you, is to be in friends with the best people I could possibly ever alone. imagine. The next people I'd like to mention is my beautiful family. As most of you probably know, it's not the simplest of families to belong to, but I like to think of it as that I'm very lucky to just have a lot of you. They're everywhere. Make up so my sleep. But how could I move this way? Come rapping and the kicking at your door. You're a best friend. My best advice, my rock, my business consultant, my shopping partner, my wine partner. Because I'm already home. And to my dad, I've always said that I found my Prince Charming in Mark, but my dad will always be my king forever. Come rapping and the kicking at your door. How it's my husband Mark. But you say the thing I love most about Mark is not about him really. So I don't want to go. I don't need to be. Look at it. It's about because I love the person I've become since I met you. And I want to thank you so much for giving me a complete fairy tale life. In the far I find the snow Losing Well, I'm glad I'm, I've already started crying before even speaking It's in the far I find the snow This speech is about my, my stunning Losing wife So I just wanted to start out by, by saying that It makes me the happiest man alive to say those words that I can now call you my wife <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, on to the most special person in my life, my gorgeous, stunning, sophisticated and beautiful wife. This woman really does have it all. Without you, all that I see around us would never have been possible. You've blown my mind in doing literally everything. Consider the best is yet to come. We've got a barbecue. <laughs> it's also amazing to have my mum here to see me the happiest I've ever been in my life. So my final toast is to every single one of you sat in this room for making it such an amazing day. Thank you.
So, I'm going to introduce you to the best, worst man ever. If you do enjoy the meal, ladies and gentlemen, then I'd like to say you're welcome because I got involved on the food side. Before I got there, you were having quinoa and water. <laughs> The lack of uh, involvement you've had with this and, and, and your actual profession, your actual business card said, Mark Price, wedding planner. As the sun goes down. Myself and Mark actually uh, went to uh, have a photo shoot them. We were going to be muggles. I remember it vividly because I had to sit through it. We've been there for each other, through thick and thin, seen each other at our worst and at our best. This will continue for the rest of our lives, I promise you that. I'm even more honoured and privileged to be involved in the lives of these amazing people. I wish you all the happiness in the world, both of you. As the sun goes down, hey. as the sun goes down, hey. ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Price. As the sun goes down